Yo, what's going on, YouTube? Guard up on defense here. Back in the video today. This video, I'm talking to you guys about what I think the ideal meta center is for 5v5 modes and mb 2 k 24 season 4. Before getting to the new channel, it's up on the road. 2,000 subscribers, you like, comment as well. And yeah, let's get into this video. So, honestly, there's about three ways I think you can make your center build. Also, if you want to go 7 foot, you can. I just think the 7 one is just a little bit better, in my opinion. Some people argue 7 foot has more attributes. I don't know what 7 foots they be making, but 7 one definitely gets more because the speed's lower and things like that. So, I don't know what 7 foots people make, but if you want to make a 7 foot, the wingspan, you can go like 7-6, you can go down to 7-1 wingspan, or you can go max. It really depends how you want to make your build, how much how much shooting you want really, and how much uh, wingspan you're comfortable with. I personally think lower wingspan, I don't know why, I just feel like you jump higher because your player's arms are shorter, so the game knows to make you jump higher for rebounds. And when you have a long wingspan, I feel like your player gets a lot of lazy rebound animations, which can catch you off guard and miss some rebounds. So it's kind of up to you. For my 7-1, you can go 7-6 wingspan if you want to get like kind of a mixture of good shooting and good wingspan for shot blocking and rebounding or you can go max if you just want to go all out on the defensive end or you can go lower to be all on shooting so as far as a 7-6 wingspan you're gonna want to go with an 86 mid-range you get gold open looks and some other great shooting badges. 83 ball which is pretty solid and 92 passing is what i'd recommend on a center you can go 86 if you feel comfortable with that it's really up to you so 92 steady dunk if you want to go 90 as well you can do that 70 driving dunk just to get the pro lu packages and get a decent rating because you're not gonna be doing driving dunks a ton of ton of the time honestly but just being able to catch lobs will help you out now 82 interior 78 block is kind of the best way to go in fives because it's not really worth investing to a 92 block or an 88 interior all the time just for you to get like the same results because it's really tough to get stops in the paint in this game unless you're playing people that really aren't that good uh, it really depends if you want to go max on your defense rebound instead of old boards you can old boards a little bit cheaper if you max it out over the d board so it's kind of up to you but if you're more uh used to having a higher D board, then you definitely can do that. I'd recommend old board, just in my opinion, but it's really kind of preference. And you gotta make sure you have that 90 strength on any center build in this game. Highly recommend that. Really, if you wanna go 86 passing, you probably can get a little bit more defensive. That's what you're really worried about. But I really would advise against it because it's really not worth it when that 92 passing is gonna get you a lot of easy fast break points for your team. If you wanna lower that ball handle as well, if you don't wanna have it at 60, you can do that. And then if you want to go 40 SP with ball and 48 Excel, or try to get that, you can also get Silver uh, Big Drive, which I really don't even know what the badge does. It activates, but it, it's really not doing too much for me. I still don't really know if the badge really does anything. I've watched videos on it, and I still really don't know. Uh, it's, but as far as the build, if you want to make it this way, you can. Really, with the extra points, you do what you want. Not much is going to change. Maybe Stamina is one thing you want, or Max Excel. It's kind of just up to you. I'd recommend Ball Handle as well, just because you're able to get that uh, extra ability to catch the passes and when you're rolling and catching and shooting things like that Gee, every point here is kind of in a perfect spot just with how it looks it's all at either a badge cutoff or an animation cutoff like 85 d board is really nice because if you get that added bonus of plus five with rebounding boost you get to the 90 rebound which means you get the 90 rebound animations which can definitely help you out and overall i think this is a very solid center now if you want to go max wingspan the only difference you're gonna have less shooting but you'll be able to get a little bit more points because you're shooting and be able to get uh, some more defense. So that's kind of your play style. But you want to make sure you go 249 at that point. And you can see right here, you got some more points to play with for sure. Uh, you already got max passing. So there's only place you can really put is defense. And make sure you have that 45 excel. You, you can't really go underneath it if you have max speed. But make sure you have it just so you get that spot finder. So when you're rolling as a center, you get a lot of easy cuts on other bigs. But really, you can do whatever you want if you want to make it like this. 87 block, you can go 88 tier, which is a really solid kind of spot for the defense overall. Uh, it's not really going to make a huge difference from what the other ratings were, but it does help out in some situations, of course. So really not much is going to change between the two builds. They're pretty much the same. The one that's really going to be different is the lower wingspan because you're going to have 85 three ball, 91 midrange or 90 if you want to go down to 90. One thing you get at 91 midrange is the guard up hall of fame which is a pretty solid badge so i advise you to probably try to get it and then 75 dunk is also very solid on a center uh, just being able to get athletic one handers and some other really solid baseline dunks as well as reverses off one there's some nice dunk packages you get and you get posterizer bronze at 73 dunk so now as far as the 72 wingspan make sure you go 246 pounds and you can see you already get a 65 ball handle so you're gonna be able to get just a little bit more dribble sigs there like all of Kawhi Leonard's animations, honestly for a center are pretty solid. Uh, but pretty much the rest of the builds are going to be the same besides the 91 mid-range 85 three ball. You can get everything you had on defense. Only thing that you're not going to get compared to the other version is a little bit more uh, finishing. Uh, so that's literally it. 
So pretty much, I think it's a good trade-off. Shooting isn't really that expensive compared to, like, finishing and shooting are pretty much identical in terms of cost, it feels like. It's really not losing much by going this wingspan. Obviously, you lose the wingspan, but I feel like you jump more for blocks and rebounds when you have a lower wingspan. That's just what I've noticed playing with them, playing with people that have a low wingspan. But if you want to go 73 dunk, you can do that, lower the mid-range. Try to get 75 dunk if you really want to at that point. But for me personally, I would recommend the 91 mid-range just because the 70 driving dunk is all you're going to need and all you're going to upgrade probably for the most part in this build. And if you're trying to be 90 to 100 at least, if you're going 92 above, maybe 75 is better. But that 91 mid-range with Guard of Hall of Fame can help you out honestly a ton. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.